pros and cons of buying crypto with PayPal. Actually, you can buy as much as 0, 0.000. Buying Bitcoin is getting easier by the day. Bitcoin is now hitting new heights and many of my friends ask me how to buy Bitcoin. That's why I decided to make a quick explanation of how you can buy Bitcoin for the first time. I've had experiences with cryptocurrencies before when filming my documentary movie about the Bitcoin hype, blockchain developments and the people behind it in six different countries. The movie is called Crypto Rush and I will put the link to the movie in the description below in case you would like to find out more. In this video, I'll talk about a few ways to purchase Bitcoin and obviously this topic is extensive and complex, but I will try to keep it simple and short. This is not an endorsement to own Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. You should talk to a financial advisor if you wish to make any significant investments in this area. And please keep in mind that uh, the Bitcoin investment is a highly risky adventure. Uh, so please uh, make all decisions based on professional financial advice. This video is for informational purposes only. But if you decide to participate in conversations about Bitcoin or are generally interested in this topic, this video is for you. Generally, it's easy to purchase Bitcoin if you would want to see how owning it is like. And if the price seems too steep uh, for you at the moment, and the fact is that you don't need to buy an entire Bitcoin. The technology allows you to purchase a small fraction of it. The smallest fraction of Bitcoin is called Satoshi. Purchasing Bitcoin has actually become really simple in the past few years. Buying Bitcoin is getting easier by the day and the legitimacy of the exchanges and wallets is growing. So in this video, I will share some of the platforms you can use to purchase Bitcoin, depending on your location. Of course, there's dozens of apps, websites and exchanges to get Bitcoin. But to make this video um, a short overview, I will focus on just a few. Coinbase is a platform that deserves a mention. Um, Coinbase.com is one of the most popular options for buying Bitcoin and also other cryptocurrency. Uh, Coinbase has long been a go-to spot by, to buy cryptocurrencies. It's easy to create an account um, and get, uh, get up and running in just a few minutes. Just enter your name, email and create a password to sign up. Of course, there is a fee for um, purchase and the fees can be more significant depending on how much Bitcoin you buy and whether you use your debit card or checking account to pay for it. The other platform in my list is PayPal, uh, which I am sure you've heard of uh, in one way or another. Uh, in 2020, PayPal announced that it will allow to purchase Bitcoin and a few other cryptocurrencies on the platform. Nevertheless, uh, it's limiting the users uh, who can buy Bitcoin to U.S. residents only, so it's location-based. Pros and cons of buying. If you already have a PayPal account, payment is quick and convenient. Um, again, only in the U.S. right now. Um, also, PayPal is obviously the safe and secure payment method, which everybody knows. The cons are that there are insanely high fees and this increases the cost of transaction. Uh, the platform also doesn't accept um, GBP pounds. Um, so the, if you are purchasing Bitcoin with PayPal from the UK, currency conversion fees will apply. And there are 
a limited number of platforms which support PayPal. Why is that happening? Well, PayPal is known to have the chargebacks um, option on the platform and Bitcoin, due to the technology underlying Bitcoin, is an irreversible transaction. As a result, it's relatively easy to someone to buy Bitcoin with PayPal account and then complain that they never received the Bitcoin they purchased and ask for a chargeback. That's how scammers could keep their money and essentially get Bitcoin for free. That's why, um, because of this heightened risk of fraud, only a handful of crypto trading platforms and exchanges accept PayPal deposits, rather preferring the um, card deposits. I'm not covering exchanges in this video, but it's important to keep in mind. It's time to mention some platforms that can be used outside of the US to purchase Bitcoin because they do not require the US financial licensing to do that. One of those platforms is eToro. It's very handy if you live outside of the US and if you would like to buy Bitcoin through eToro, all you need to do is sign up and verify your account and make a deposit. From there, you'll be able to buy and sell Bitcoin quickly. Although you need to know that recently eToro said it's overwhelmed by demand by newcomers who want to trade Bitcoin, that it has temporarily boosted the amount of new users have to put on deposit to discourage them from joining. The platform, which uh, mainly caters to social beginner traders, raised the required deposit level from one uh, from $200 to $1,000 on deposit to begin buying Bitcoin. This is quite crazy. The other application you can easily purchase Bitcoin with is Revolut. Revolut, it's uh, the rival mobile bank in the UK, did introduce cryptocurrency trading within their app for a small um, 1.5% fee. But what you need to know about it is that while buying Bitcoin is very quick and simple through Revolut, you can't move your coins to any other wallet. You don't control the cryptocurrency keys either. The only option with Revolut app is to hold or sell your Bitcoin. As Revolut puts on their own website, when you buy cryptocurrency through Revolut app, it will not be protected by the financial services compensation scheme in the UK. I will repeat that uh, you don't need to buy an entire Bitcoin if you want to give it a try. Actually, you can buy as much as 0 0.00040 of Bitcoin for only about $15 at the moment. And that's it. You don't need to spend 30 or 40 or 20k at all. With those type of risky investments, you need to be ready to lose it all. So, you know, Better to spend some amount you are ready to lose and comfortable with losing. I also need to mention that all of the services that I featured in this uh, video are not anonymous. You will need to verify your identity and uh, buy Bitcoin with your uh, personal data attached to it. Bitcoin is highly volatile, it's growing, and there might, might be a bear market soon. Um, this why I always recommend talking to your financial advisors before making any decisions about Bitcoin. In my next video, I will talk about my personal experience uh, using cryptocurrencies and how I've actually lost some money with it. I will also give an advice how to keep your Bitcoin secure. Don't miss the next video. Subscribe to my channel, put um, on that notification bell not to miss the next video next week and i wish you all the best luck with bitcoin cheers